I'm adding just a couple of minutes of video here to the beginning of video 2 part 1 because I've found that in the uh, comments section here, the description section, I can't add uh, actual computer language uh, which is what the Arduino code is because it has brackets. When I tried I was uh, given a information uh, message there that said can't use brackets. So below the video in the comments section I've added uh, you'll see where it says Arduino code can be found here. So this address all you need to do is just left click on the one side of it drag it across until it's all highlighted right click anywhere on the highlighted area click copy and now you have the address so let me just close that up now we'll open up Internet Explorer and in the address bar just left click on it once and it'll highlight so then you right click and click paste that puts your address back into the bar so now we'll press enter and that'll take us to the page where the code can be found so we'll just move down just a little bit here as soon as it allows me to there we go now here's the program but you'll see that it's for 52 channels so we're going to modify it just a hair here uh, it also extends just a couple lines past the bottom so we'll need to hold down the left mouse button at the top drag it across and down and then take it down while you're continuing to hold it a little bit farther until those last few lines pop up so now we have it all so we'll right click out here on uh, any of the highlighted area we'll left click copy and we'll close this up I'm working with Windows 7 so we'll go down here to the start menu all programs and I've tried it with the word task or word processor and it says that it's too large to uh, copy and paste so what we'll do is we'll go down to accessories and in here we have notepad don't confuse it with wordpad so we'll left click notepad and open it up and then we'll right click and click paste now we have our program uh, as I've said that we'll be working with 48 channels instead of 52 we're going to take a few more of those transmits and receives away and it seems to work a little better so I'll just highlight the 52 and replace it with a 48 and out here starting at 17 I'm just going to delete 18 19 20 and 21 leaving the comma in between now that gets us down to 48 channels and that's all we need to do Jetty apparently was the uh, writer of this program so to him I say thank you you saved me and a lot of others a bunch of work because this program works great now we don't need this part in the program so we're going to just highlight that and click delete and this is all we need now we're going to save it I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to give the name 48 channels and save it now I can close up and here's our document so if I open it back up you can see that we have it so this is what you'll be needing to cut and paste into your uh, Arduino once you've got downloaded this program and start working with it so let's continue on we're going to go to the Arduino website and download the free software that controls our Arduino Mega 2560s so let's open up Explorer on the address bar we'll highlight it and type in arduino.cc and 
hit the enter. This is their home page. All we need to do is go to download. And this is their latest and greatest software. So all we need to do, and remember this is all free. These folks put it out there. It's an open source project. So we just go to Windows Installer. First page you'll come to is their contribute page here. And as I say, this is all free and open source. So if you'd like to help these folks out, I'm sure they would appreciate any of your contributions. Down below this, if you had chosen to donate an amount, all you do is uh, click on it and then click on the contribute and download. If not, you click on just download. Now that it's finished downloading, we first go to the license agreement screen. Click on I agree. Components to install. We want all of them. This is your default destination folder. C program files, Arduino. If you want to put it somewhere else, you can click browse. So we'll install. I'll be right back as soon as it's done installing. Alright, the installation has completed, so we'll close up and we'll close the website. Now I have Arduino on my desktop, so we're going to work with Arduino now. We'll open it up. And this is their sketch pad. We're going to delete everything that you see here, including the name, but that'll come here in just a minute. So we want to go wherever the cursor is, beside void. We're going to hold down the left mouse button, pull it down and across, and make sure that everything there is highlighted. And then put your cursor on any of the highlighted area, right click, and press delete. Now we have a nice clean sketch pad here to work with. We're going to put in the code that someone else wrote and it works really well. I wish I knew who it was because I would love to give them the credit for it because it has saved me so much work. So let's open up the Arduino code. You should find either a link to it on the bottom of the video here or uh, if I can, the entire code, which would make it simpler. I have mine just here in a notepad on the desktop, so I'm going to open it up. And this is the code, and this is all you need to run your 2560 Magus. So we're going to hold down the left mouse button, drag it down and across. If everything looks like it's highlighted, let go of the button right click on any of the highlighted area and left click copy. I might mention too that these are the channels on the Mega Vixen that we'll be using. The 2 through 17 and 22 through 53. That equals 48 channels. So if you would decide that you wanted to use an Uno Vixen instead, this program also covers it. Uh, here's your channel. So now that we've copied it, we'll close it. And on our sketch pad, I'll bring the cursor back by left clicking. Then we'll right click and paste. Now we have our entire program here. We're going to save it by pressing the uh, save down arrow button right here. So just left click on it once. It'll ask you where you want to put it. I'm going to put mine on my desktop. And I'm going to name it 48 channels. And save. So now our program is entered and saved and named. We're going to verify it to make sure it's a good program. 
the little check mark button here will take care of that. So just left click it. You'll see that it's compiling the sketch. The progress bar is moving across. As soon as it gets done, it'll tell us done compiling. So that's all we need on this. So we'll close it up. Now let's connect our Arduinos to the computer using a single USB cable, an A to B. When you connect your 2560 Mega, the light down here by where it says on is going to light up to show you that it's being powered. And that's all there is to connecting it to the computer. When you connect your Arduinos to the computer, you might get this box here for driver software installation. Uh, it's going to be needing to get it from Arduino, so it got done there before I got a chance to tell you, but all you have to do is just uh, tell it to skip obtaining the files from Windows, and then it'll go straight to Arduino and, and get it, your drivers, and that'll be all you need for that. We're going to load the program now into the Arduino Mega 2560s. We'll need to open up devices and printers. Here at the bottom you can see the Arduino Megas that I've plugged in with their USB cables. It shows one of them on COM1, the other on COM5. If these are not uh, numbers that you wish to keep, it's easy enough to change. We'll open up one here. We'll open up the one on COM1. We'll go to Hardware. Now you do not click on the Properties button down here. You click on the Arduino Mega. You left click twice. And it'll open this screen up that now has a Change Settings box. We'll left click it. Now it brings up another screen that we can now use to change our settings. We'll click Port Settings. The bits per second is 9600. This is a rate that was uh, suggested by other YouTubers. And I've not had any problem with the way things work, so whatever that happens to mean, it works out on mine. If, you, if it's not set there, all you got to do is just left click the down arrow find it on the list and left click it to set it again. Data bits is 8, none, 1, and none here. We'll click on advanced and that will take us where we can change our port numbers now. We're on COM1. If we open that up we can see that COM1 is available. So is 6, 7, 8 right on down the list. The ones that I have here that are in use are 2, 3, 4, and 5. So those I can't use. But if I wanted to change it to something else, say COM6, I would just left click and then OK my way all the way out and it would change it to COM6. I like 1 because it's an easy number to remember for me. So I'm going to OK everything here. When you first plug in your Arduinos, the computer will assign port numbers to them. So if you just look what care to leave them there, that's fine, or if you want to change them, that's fine as well, as long as you don't use one that's already in use. So let's close this up, and the program that we created there a few moments ago, the 48 channels, we're going to open it up. Alright, now we'll open up 48 channels. Now I'm going to close the folder file here behind it just so that it's not a distraction. And I'm going to maximize the 48 channel file. Now we're going to load this program onto the Arduino Mega 2560s. We do that by going to Tools. Now we want to check the board and make sure that it's on Mega 2560. If it's not, you can move it there. Just click out here on the left hand side processor 2560 mega and our port remember our ports were COM1 and COM5 these were the ones located on the uh, icons on the device and uh, printer screen so we have the choices here of COM1 and COM5 
So we're going to leave it on COM1 at the moment and close that by just clicking up there in the open. So now we're wanting to upload this program onto them. So we're going to click the upload button. Down here at the bottom, it is compiling the sketch. The progress bar is moving across. When it finishes uploading, you can see that it says done uploading. Had there been a problem, this area in here, instead of blue, turns a orangish yellow, lets you know there's a problem. Now me, considering I'm not a programmer, that's not going to tell me much of anything, but I have found that most times the simplest thing is just unplug the Arduinos and plug them back in again. And most of the time that'll take care of your problem. Uh, once you've done that, then just try to upload it once again. So we're going to do that on both of them. I'm going to go to Tools now. And where it says Port 1, I'm going to now change the check mark down to Port 5. If I go back and take a look, you'll see that it now says Port 5 there. So I'm going to upload into Port 5. Our second Arduino. Now we're loading the program. Did you see it light up right there? These are your transmits and receives and that showed you that it accepted the program. That board's now ready for use. Alright, that board is done uploading. So both of our boards now are ready for use.